I wasn't always very excited about math. I was more excited about reading novels and I thought I would become a writer one day. <laughs> I got excited about it maybe just as a challenge. But then I realized that it's really nice and that I enjoy it. These were quite difficult times. It was during the war. Right after the war, I had a lot of opportunities. I went to a very good middle school and then high school. And I think I was the lucky generation because I was a teenager when things became more stable. My main interest is understanding structures you can put on a surface. There are different ways of looking at it. Either you have a surface with some additional geometric structures or this kind of problems are related to understanding the space of such structures. One very famous example is if you have a billiard table and you start from a point and you hit the ball and then hits the boundaries and it moves, say, forever, you want to see the trajectory of the ball. Would it cover all your billiard table? Can you find closed billiard paths? And interestingly enough, this is an open question in general, if you don't put any restrictions on the angles of the polygon that you started. There are two types of questions. One is about you have a surface with a geometric structure and you're trying to understand some properties of this geometric structure that you have. The other questions are related to you have a surface and you have a geometric structure and you start deforming this geometric structure and then you want to see what kind of surfaces you would get. Some of the problems like you know the properties of a generic surface, a random surface, but it's really hard to say something about a single given geometric structure on the surface. Some of the work that I've done with different collaborators shows that sometimes the surfaces are very similar to the ones of a generic surface. You can ask these questions about the hyperbolic surfaces or these flat surfaces or different geometric structures. I think these problems are important because they are related to some other problems. Even if you are interested in higher dimensional manifolds, one way of dealing with them is trying to find some nice surface inside of them. You end up learning a lot about other spaces and properties of other actions. So it gives you a lot of information. It's not only the question, but the way you try to solve it. <laughs>